This is a water vole. A creature now threatened with extinction. Up until a few months ago, this riverbank was its home, but for its own safety, the water vole was captured, along with five others, and brought here to Blackpool Zoo. This is the River Don near Doncaster, where we needed to do some work to help reduce flooding levels in, in the town. And it involved work actually on the banks of the river, which would disturb the water vole's habitat. And that's why we needed to move them away while that work was done. At the zoo, the water voles have had several health checks and Ian Valentine's team have tagged each animal with a microchip to help with identification. Chipping of an animal is important because it allows us to identify the animal on an individual basis. If it was a large animal, it would be very easy to put a, a tattoo or an ear tag on it, but for a small animal, it's not so feasible. And therefore, you use a, this uh, injector and in, inject the small microchip which is about the same size as a grain of rice. Once this is in the animal you can then use a reader, pass it over in front of the, the chip and you then have a number which is identifiable. When the water voles are released back into the wild, the Environment Agency will check that they're OK and microchipping makes that job a lot easier. Today, two pairs of water voles are being taken back to Doncaster by the Environment Agency. One pair will remain at the zoo, where hopefully they'll breed and produce younger animals that can be released back into the wild at a later date. So much care is being taken because water voles are now one of the most endangered species in the UK. So what are the reasons for their population decline? One of them is the effect that the American mink uh, has had on them. The American mink is not an, an animal which should be here. It's been introduced into this country and they prey quite heavily on water voles. A few other things which are causing them problems are the destruction of their habitat and also pollution, serious pollution of the waterways causes uh, tremendous problems for the water voles themselves. The building work on the River Don is finished, so it's time to let these water voles go back home. First, they're released into special cages on the water's edge. The cage is designed so that it, it's enclosed on, on all sides and the top, but it's actually open underneath, so that when the water voles are in there, because they're burrowing animals, they do have an opportunity to actually burrow into the bank and, and create a home for themselves before they finally into the wild. The cage itself will give them some protection from predators, other animals that might come and eat them and inside we've got a, a plastic box with hay in that they can get underneath that's dry and provides a, a nest for them to be in. All this work for the safety of only a handful of water voles. Mm If we just let the water voles go into the wild with no cage, they would have um, been very confused. They, they've been used to being looked after in the zoo and would probably have just run off and, and not survived. Um, hopefully they will start to feel comfortable on the site and, and start to make burrows themselves and, and burrow out and, and in that way we'll know that they're happy at the site. Water voles are under threat because all over the country their habitat is being destroyed and because of predators like mink 